Hello everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. Okay, so in uh, last video, what we did, we obtained these equations, right? Or uh, rather than saying these equations, these are the unit vector in spherical polar coordinate system, which we have obtained explicitly in uh, last lecture, right? Or in last video. Okay, here you can see ER bar or ER cap is in terms of i, j and k, right? So, what we are going to do in this video is, we are going to obtain i, j, k, okay, this one, we are going to obtain i, j, k in terms of e, r cap, e, theta cap and e, phi cap. So, in order to do that, what I have done, these are very long calculations and if I done them in the video it might get longer video that's why I already did the call calculations and here I am going to explain how I did these calculations okay first I have named I have numbered these equations you can see I have number er cap as 1 then e theta cap as 2 and e theta cap as 3 so these are my three equations and I am going to obtain i j k what are i j k i j k are unit vector in Cartesian coordinate system so here I have mentioned that i j k are unit vector in Cartesian coordinate system now I want to obtain i j k in terms of e r cap e theta cap and e phi cap okay what I will do I will uh, work out for k first but method of obtaining is like this suppose you have some equation like uh, 3x okay 3x plus phi y is equal to say some number uh, 10 and uh, then you have 2x minus phi y is equal to uh, 20 so how do you solve this equation what you do you see if you want to obtain expression for x or value of x you just add these two equation right and then you see phi u y phi u y get cancelled and you get phi u x is equal to 30 and then you obtain x is equal to 6 right 6 into phi u is 30 okay so we are going to follow the same methods here you can see we have three equation equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 and first i want to obtain for k cap then I can see here in third equation okay this is the third equation in third equation there is no k cap so I don't need to use third equation so that's why I want to obtain first for k cap what I will do I will multiply equation 1 by cos of theta equation 2 by sine of theta and then I am going to subtract that okay here I have done this here you can see I have multiply er cap by cos of theta and then e theta cap by sine of theta and then this negative sign is coming because i am subtracting this and if i put a bracket here you know that the signs will change so this uh, negative will become positive so you can say this is a positive this is a positive and if i take this negative inside then this whole thing become negative that is what happening and this term was negative due to this negative sign it is coming positive okay so that is the thing if you did this subtraction what you see is this this quantity get cancelled with this quantity okay and then this quantity goes with this and you are remain with cos square theta k cap plus sin square theta k cap and if you take k cap common right so you have to take k cap common then you will land up with cos square theta plus sin square theta and outside there will be k cap this quantity is 1 this is 1 and another side you can see er cap cos of theta minus er e theta cap sin of theta as it is so i got this uh, first uh, expression that is i have expressed k cap k cap in terms of er cap and e theta cap okay so next i will obtain for i cap 
so here you have to opt in for i cap okay but what i see from equation 1 2 and 3 that every equation contains every equation contains i cap i cap and i cap so three equation contains i cap so i have to consider three equations and that is what i have done here while obtaining this i have multiplied equation 1 by sine of theta cos of phi then i have multiplied equation second by cos of theta cos of phi and then i have multiplied it by sine of phi to the equation 3 and then what i did so i got these equations okay so when i multiply equation first equation second and equation uh, third by respective quantities then i got these uh, equations which i have named as equation one equation equation a equation b and equation c now what i did next is i have add equation a plus b so what i did i added equation a and equation b and then i subtracted equation c okay these are the equation this is what i have done and i got final result is this so i got the expression for i cap in terms of er cap e theta cap and here you can see there is er cap e theta cap and e phi cap similarly we are going to uh, do for j cap what we will do we will multiply equation 1 by sine theta sine phi equation 2 by I am saying equation 1, 2, 3, not equation A, B, C, okay. Our earlier equ equations, equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3, we will multiply equation 3 by cos phi. After multiplication, I will uh, get these equations. You can see after multiplication, this will be D I will get. Then I will get E and F, okay. And if you add, not A, if you add D, equation d plus equation e plus equation f then you are going to get this result so by here i have mentioned by adding equation d e f what are d e f d e f are obtained from this so okay. this is what we have obtained by this and if you add d e f then you will get expression for j cap so here is the expression of j cap and finally you can write i cap in terms of er cap e theta cap and e phi cap so finally i will say i have obtained i j k in terms of er cap e theta cap and e phi cap these are cartesian unit vectors right and these are spherical unit vectors i hope this is clear okay now if you don't understand this or if you are getting but uh, you might uh, confuse how i have done so you have to try it yourself because learning a mathematics is uh, most of time you have to try take a pen and a paper and try it by yourself and just follow this step okay wherever you get confused uh, take a uh, open the video and see how i have done this okay so okay for uh, today we will stop here if you like this uh, video or if you found this video useful then like the video subscribe the channel and uh, share among those who will found this video useful thank you